Hello scholars and good morning. I am so, so happy with all the work that I saw last week and I can tell that learning about 2D shapes was pretty easy for every single one of us. Now, when we talk about our 2D shapes, we learned about five important shapes. We learned about our circle, our square, our rectangular, or our rectangle, our triangle, and our trapezoid. I've not a thing about them for a little bit. And we talked about our 2D shapes for quite some time because it's important when we talk about our 3D shapes. Now, when we talk about our 3D shapes, some of them you might already recognize. You might say, oh, Miss Gusman, I see that every day. I see that at home. Well, now we're gonna learn the names of all of our 3D shapes. So the first one that we have is called a sphere. A sphere. That one you have to take your time when you say it out loud, when you pronounce it, a sphere. And a sphere, when I look at it, kind of looks like a circle. But we know that a circle is a 2D shape, so it cannot be a 3D shape. The 3D shape that kind of looks like a circle is called a sphere. And this is what you would see in your home or at school. And you would see a basketball or your soccer ball or a bouncy ball. Those are all spheres. And you should probably already be thinking by now, oh, Miss Gasp, I have that. I've played with a basketball. I've played with a bouncy ball. All of us have, but the name of that shape is a sphere. The next one we have is this shape right here. And as you can already tell by looking at it, we have a 2D shape right here, and that's called a square. But a square is a 2D shape. So what's our name for the 3D shape? And that is a cube, a cube. We've seen cubes before when we've played with our dice, when we've rolled them with our games, when we have maybe made boxes or you've received boxes. Those are cubes. Our next one over here is one that you see probably in your kitchen a lot. This is called a cylinder. And I can see up here, I can see some 2D shapes of my circles. But when we have our 3D shape, it's called a cylinder. And a cylinder you see as maybe cans, cans of fruit, cans of vegetables. We see soda cans. We see, I can look right here and I have my cup, which is a cylinder. We can have jars, which are cylinders. Our next 3D shape is called a cone. And I'm sure by looking at it, you can already say, oh, Miss Gaston, that looks like an ice cream cone. It sure does. That is just an ice cream cone turned upside down. Our ice cream cones are just a cone. It has a circle on the bottom and kind of looks like a triangle up there. But we know that a circle and triangle are 2D shapes. So when you put them together, it makes a cone. Or if you've ever seen those big orange cones outside on the street or in the school parking lot, those are also called cones. The next one we have right here is our probably our hardest 3D shape. It's gonna be a very long word. It is called a rectangular prism. Try and say that. Rectangular prism. It's a tricky word. But you can see right here that this long shape is a rectangle. But again, we already know a rectangle is a 2D shape, so we have to figure out what our 3D shape name is. And that's where we say rectangular prism rectangular prism. This to me looks like a Christmas tree box. It looks like a really tall box that you would put something in or maybe even a cereal box. A tall and skinny box is a rectangular prism. And our last 3D shape that you're going to see over here that I'm sure you already know the name of because we learned about it when we learned about Egypt and pharaohs and tombs. A pyramid. A pyramid has triangles on all the sides. But again, we know that a triangle is a 2D shape. So our 3D shape is a pyramid. So scholars, 3D shapes you can find everywhere. I'm looking around my home right now and I can see cones and I can see spheres and I can see cubes and rectangular prisms. They are everywhere. 3D shapes are the ones that you can pick up and that you can feel and you could throw or you could build. Those are shapes that are right here in your hands that you could pick up or that you could see. So for your homework tonight, you are gonna to be working with both 3D shapes 
and 2D shapes. It's not gonna be super tricky, but it might give you two pictures of a square and a cube and say, which one is the 3D shape? And we would know that the cube is the 3D shape. But you just have to be careful because those questions, I don't want them to trick you up. It might also ask you a circle and a sphere and say, what is the 2D shape? Now we're learning about 3D shapes, but the 2D shape is the circle. So after this, you're gonna watch another short video going over 3D shapes and where you see them every day. Awesome, awesome job already, scholars. I can't wait to see the hard work. And as always, let me know if you have any questions.